Hi there, welcome back again. Glad you're still with me. In this lesson, what I want to do is, well, talk to you all about this thing right here, the motherboard. All right, so uh, this right here uh, is probably, not probably, it is the most important item to understand out of all the different components that we have when building a computer. And the reason why is because, well, this, I mean, it's the motherboard or what some people even sometimes call a main board because it is just that. It's the main circuit board that's going to make everything else work on the computer. And, or at least, I should, you know what I should say, because an argument could be made when it comes to saying whether it, this makes everything work. But everything is basically connected in some way, shape, or form to this board right here. All right, so uh, as I mentioned before, uh, this is all new equipment. Uh, this isn't pre-planned. I haven't examined this. I'm just going to go ahead and open up this box and, and we're going to go through this together and uh, see what kind of motherboard we have for this computer that we're going to build. So let's go ahead and open this up. When we open it up, you'll see here that we have the actual motherboard itself. And it may be difficult to see and, and maybe hearing a lot of crinkling. And that's because uh, the motherboard is inside of an anti-static bag. And this is true of, it should be true of pretty much uh, the majority of your electronic equipment. Uh, this stuff should always be shipped inside of an anti-static bag. Uh, in, an, in a previous lesson, we talked about ESD, electrostatic discharge, uh, and how you can have that static buildup uh, of, of a charge, and then once it touches ground, it can be discharged. Well, you don't want, just as you don't want yourself to build up a charge and then discharge into electronic equipment, you don't want your electronic equipment to b have the ability to build up a charge either. Okay, that Both can be bad. So uh, for now, I'm going to leave this inside the bag. And you really should always leave this inside the bag and only touch uh, the actual motherboard once you are uh, successfully grounded uh, so that you don't fry it if you have some kind of a, a, a static charge buildup. But before we get to this, uh, let's see what else we have in the box. Uh, I noticed right here, and it made it kind of tricky to get to. Uh, oh, there it is. That, that pops open. <laughs> that makes it easier. Uh, here we have a couple of SATA cables. Okay, so uh, we'll use one of these when we're hooking up our hard drive. All right, I'm just going to set that aside for now. And it looks, you know, it looks like, uh-oh, there goes our box. It looks like everything is, you know, that's all there is in the box. But actually, if I shake this, I can hear there's something else. <laughs> it's a false, false bottom there. All right, so if we take that out, we'll see that inside here. Uh, here we have, um, it's actually just a metal clip. Okay, and this metal clip has to do with the, uh, and again, we'll look at this in a little more detail out of the plastic later, but where all these ports are in the back of the motherboard, uh, they go into that big opening on the case that we saw, and this is what makes everything line up into that opening on the case. So we'll, we'll set that aside for now. And then another thing we have here is oh, a user's guide, and what slid out of the user's guide is a DVD. Uh, it's very common to, uh, these days especially, to include a DVD, uh, which will have uh, an, possibly an electronic version of this guide, and maybe other guides as well. I happen to know uh, from experience with other uh, with with, the, with this kind of motherboard, uh, what's on here is actually some pretty cool uh, installation and setup instructions. Uh, th this is the actual user's guide, and I'm going to show you how we can put this guide to use. But this also has some other guides with instructions, and then also this is where you'll find drivers if you need them to help uh, make things work with the operating system. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and just set the DVD off to the side. We're not going to do that. And you know what? Let's go ahead and the box is truly empty now. So <laughs> let me take this and just put this off to the side. I can't get it to close again. So you know what? I won't even try. We're just going to set this off to the side. All right. The user's guide. Very often there's a lot of real useful information that we'll have in here about all sorts of different aspects of the motherboard. And as much as I would love to say you should read the whole thing, and yeah, I suppose maybe you should, it's not very practical. But there is one page in particular that I do 
want to reference. And you'll always find this in the user's guide with every motherboard. And let me just find this real quick here. Ah, yes, here we go. This right here is a page that has the entire layout of the motherboard as it looks here. In other words, you could literally line this up with the motherboard and look at it side by side. And you have a bunch of numbers with lines pointing to different items, which then coordinate with a legend over on this page telling you what each of those items are. And that's primarily the information I want to go over with you in this lesson. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and set my book down over here so where I can read it. And then we're going to take out our motherboard and let's actually go through the schematic and see what every single connector is, port is, everything else. Uh, before we do, I will also tell you, by the way, in the book, if I were to continue paging through, we would get more detailed information about some of the specifics with some of these um, these different connectors, different ports. Uh, an example might be where you have uh, some of the jumpers from the, the front of the case as far as things like sound and USB and power switch and reset switch and, and all of that stuff. We'd have to go further in the manual to see the actual positioning of how we would clip onto those jumpers. Um, we'll, and we'll do that. We'll look into that when we get to that part of building the computer. But for right now, I want to take out the motherboard and I want to go through this entire schematic. Now, I mentioned that you never want to touch the motherboard outside of the anti-static bag until you're grounded. I'm going to break that rule, but again, only for the sake of because I'm worried more about teaching you this uh, than doing things exactly the right way when it comes to the safety of this board. Okay, and so, yes, I'm wearing good rubber sole shoes, so I'm hopefully not building up a static charge anyway. Uh, I could touch this desk, this tabletop happens to be metal, touching this metal. Um, hopefully, I've just discharged into it. I mean, these are things that I can do if I can't properly ground. But I'm also going to just carefully reach in here, pull out the board, and then I'm actually just going to set it down on the anti-static bag, and I'm going to try not to touch it too much. Uh, for the rest of this uh, presentation, okay? I, I, I just wanted to get it out without other stuff in the way. So, here we have our board, okay? And as you can see, there's, a, you know, all kinds of stuff on here, okay? As I rotate this around, okay, you can see there's slots, there's sockets, there's all sorts of uh, different connectors. Uh, if you look real close, there's different jumpers. On the back here, we have various ports. <laughs> 